What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go through more comic books and I'm gonna be sharing with you some more X Factor comics that I have found in my 2000 lot that I did purchase to resell. Now again, if you guys watched the last X Factor video, I'm not really into X Factor. I don't know a lot of the characters, but I know there's a lot of interest out there and I am gonna be selling these very soon. Hopefully $3 each, but I would take $2 each for these comics. A lot of them are in great condition. And I think in this video, it's gonna be a lot of the more earlier ones than the late 90s, which is stuff that I collect. So who knows, I might be able to pick out a few for my own personal collection, but I am gonna be doing a lot more videos very soon, including some more of the more expensive comics. So stay tuned for that very soon. Let's get into today's video. Up first, we have issue 58. It is a very interesting comic, I will give it that. It does look really cool. Issue 41, I should also mention that these here, I think I went through quickly, but I don't know if they're in order. I don't know what issues there are there. If there's any keys, you guys let me know if you see anything because I might not mention it on camera if there is a key or something interesting, especially since X Factor isn't my uh, top thing or something that I really collect. I don't know much about them. But issue 41, and there is a glare, so I'm gonna to try to angle it so you guys see the comic without the glare. 39, this one here, the end here, it's kind of buckled in a way, and I can feel it just holding the comic. 36, I like whenever they do this, whenever the artwork of it distorts where the placement of certain things are, whether it's the title or right here, the issue number box, uh, that's all moved because of the dragon. So that, that's cool that they do these. Um, so this one here might, for that reason, be something I keep. I like the, uh, even up here, Marvel, it's all moved because of the dragon. That's how they designed the cover. That's really, really cool. I might have to keep that one. Next up, issue 35. Comment down below if you guys know who this is. Um, not really familiar with it, sorry. Uh, 48. It's really cool. I don't think there's any sets or uh, runs or anything that I found with this one anyways. Issue 40. We have Cyclops. That's cool. You guys know I do like Cyclops. Um, so I might have to keep that. Part of Inferno. There's something else I've seen that was Inferno in one of the other books. So I might have to see if that's related or the story crossover or something. But issue 38, just a cool cover. I actually like that. I might have to keep that one. It's really cool. Issue 37, not familiar with them. Does look like Cyclops, kind of looks like Beast. Uh, you have Phoenix, maybe. You just see the back of them, so I'm not 100% sure if that's them. We have 34. And Death Shall Fall. Hmm, that's be an interesting one to read. This is cool. 33. Um, it, on one hand, looks like Beast. On the other hand, I'm going to say it's not. It just doesn't look like the artwork, unless it was a different artist that drew it. Doesn't really look like what I'm used to seeing in X-Men and X-Force, what I came across anyways. Uh, next is 33. That is really cool. X-Factor Battles the Avengers. I might have to keep this one for my personal collection. I like anything that's whenever it's like a crossover like that is really cool. And right off the bat, you guys can see all the different characters in it. Uh, you even have the Silver Surfer, which is really cool. But you have Thor and Cyclops going at it on the cover. That's just really cool. You have She-Hulk uh, she here too. I'm definitely going to have to keep this one in my personal collection. That is really cool. I like crossovers and stuff like that. It's just a lot of fun. Issue 31. So at least so far I've found one comic that I want to keep in my personal collection. Ooh, this one here I'm definitely gonna have to think about. Issue 30, Mutant Police. That just looks so intimidating, so cool. The artwork, the detail alone. I'm gonna have to think about that one. 29. Hmm, it's almost like uh, I don't know, is she creating like a zombie army or something? That'd be interesting. This is a thick one, issue 25. 
That's why it's a thick one. I find issue 25, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, and 500 are usually thicker or special ones, or sometimes you get a hologram, or you could get a hologram one or a foil one. 22. So that's cool. Hmm. Issue 15. The whole concept of that just, it looks amazing. It looks like a campaign for anti-mutants. That just alone looks cool, but I don't know if I want to keep this in my personal collection. I do have a lot of comics already in my personal collection. After I go through all the 2000 comics, I am going to be sharing my personal collection, by the way. But uh, I'm going to have to decide on that one. We have issue 13. Issue 11. That's cool. Cyclops, it looks like Cyclops is in trouble. Uh, issue 26. Um, I know I said Silver Surfer earlier, because I don't know X-Factor, I, I, I doubt that's even Silver Surfer. It could be Iceman for all I know. Um, but it looked like Silver Surfer in the other video. It kind of looked like a surfboard. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just gonna stick with that for now. If I'm wrong, just let me know. It's okay to be wrong once in a while, right? Especially when it's not really something that you collect. Uh, issue 23. That's interesting though. I don't know if I want it in my personal collection. 16. I like the fight scenes. Fight scenes just do it for me. This one here has a little bit too much going. I can't really tell who is hurting who in that scene. Uh, issue 14. Very interesting. And last but not least, we have issue 12 of X Factor. And it definitely was Iceman, you can see him uh, there, but for some reason, I seen the one where they're battling the Avengers, it looked like Silver Surfer, it looked like he had a surfboard, uh, and he didn't look like Iceman, so that's why I said that, but uh, issue 12, so very interesting comics. I picked out one for me, that's when X-Factor battles the Avengers, that just to me seems really cool, very interesting, something that I'd like to have in my collection. Other than that, all the ones in the last video and the rest of the ones for this video of X Factor, I am unfortunately going to be selling. I just don't have room to collect and keep absolutely everything, especially when I bought them to resell. So these hopefully will sell quick, but I definitely am keeping that one comic. If you guys want to see more comic book videos, I have a lot more comic books coming out uh, where I share not only stuff that was in the 2000 lot that I purchased, some expensive comics that were in that, some that I might be keeping, some I'm going to be selling. But also soon I'm going to be going through my personal collection and sharing a lot of that with you guys. I'm just extremely happy that I have, once again, comic books back on the channel. You guys seem to love that and I love sharing that with you guys, sharing my love for comic books. Five years ago when I started collecting, I took a break. You guys didn't see many comic book videos and I did purchase this lot and now I do have content for comic books for you guys. So. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.